Oh, it's on, it's on. No, maybe not. Dude, that was a, that pole bent down hard. Are we on? No, okay, we just had the first bite. Wasn't paying attention, I was re-rigging my other pole. And my pole bent down so freaking hard. But, uh, didn't get there in time. Dang it. Dude, that sucks. First fish, and we missed it. We're probably gonna miss a lot of fish this first part of fishing because I'm not gonna be paying much attention to my rods as I'm showing you guys all the cool stuff we got, but we're gonna at least try, all right? We're not just gonna sit here without bait in the water. That's dumb. Okay, let's finish this rig. That was quick though, first bite came pretty quick. All right, we're getting a bite. Dang it, hold on, I gotta get this freaking weight in the place. Are we still on? My line is swimming. Yes, got it, okay. Two bites, wild rigging, oh walleye. Like I mentioned, we might catch a walleye on these bigger minnows. All right, first fish of the day and it's a walleye, baby. We'll probably keep a fish today and do a catch and cook. All right, that's awesome. We got two bites in the time it took me to rig up this pole, so it might be a good day. It is already pretty hot. I did not get out here early or anything, so uh, I'm happy that we're still catching fish. We're still getting bites, I guess I should say. All right, first fish down. Let's drop down another minnow. Walleye on the dead eye custom. All right, we got two pretty big minnows on this double minnow rig. Let's catch a freaking giant, dude. Y'all want to? I want to. Sick. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another fishing adventure. So, as you just saw, we we're on the boat. We just got into our spot. We dropped down some minnows and instantly we we're getting bites. We caught a walleye. But uh, we we're out here on the lake and it is a Saturday and there are millions of people out here. So, this, this boat is going to be shaking a lot today. Boats are flying by, making waves. And that is why we're rocking right now. So expect that a lot in this video. But guys, I got some really cool stuff to show you. Check this out. So as you guys know, if you guys watch my channel, I love the Okuma Hakai reel. This reel is a game changer. It is absolutely amazing. This reel retails for about $165. And uh, honestly, it should be way more because this reel is awesome. So I already have two of these Hakais. This is the... 6.2 gear ratio on my spinnerbait rod. Looks like we're getting a bite back there. And then I have this one here. This is the 8.1. This is kind of my everything rod. Well, actually it's my Texas rig rod, but I, I use it for everything. Like right now it has a jig and a grub on there. And we've caught quite a bit of sand bass and crappie on this in the past few days. But this reel right here, this reel has been my workhorse. Like I said, I use it for everything. It's always in my truck. Everywhere I go, I bring this rod and reel, and uh, that is the 8.1. So we have the 8.1, and we have the 6.2. But I just got a brand new Hakai in the mail, baby. Oh, I love to see it. Of course, from Okuma. You guys already know they sponsor the channel. They are absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that because they am sponsored, but here is the 7. 0.3 gear ratio as you can see I already got some what do we got we got 15 pound line on this Hakai so it's already spooled up ready to go so now we have all three gear ratios of the Hakai and it is freaking amazing I'm stoked as you can see the gear ratios are color coded the 6.2 is silver the 7.3 is gold and the 8.1 gear ratio is red. I love this one so much I had to get all three gear ratios and now we have it. If you guys haven't seen the Hakai from Okuma, you're missing out man. You are absolutely missing out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a cast with it and you guys can just kind of see how awesome it really is. We got a jig here with a grub. Make sure I'm not getting any bites back here before we absolutely amazing it flies and look I'm not even putting my thumb it's sinking down to the bottom that's why it's still rolling <laughs> I, I think it casted far but not that far but uh, as you saw there I did not have to put my thumb on the reel and it still flew for freaking ever 
that was just a random cast but i'm actually just gonna fish this slow and reel it back in nice and slow and hopefully catch the fish we'll see so i'm fishing this rocky point right here but i could honestly probably cast over to that rocky point way over there let's actually try it they got a free spinning spool and they cast like a dream baby yeah pretty freaking close i was maybe five feet off but yeah these hakai reels are absolutely amazing guys go check them out links are in the description for everything i'm about to show y'all but you already know man this is my go-to reel all right no bites there on those last two casts but i'm freaking stoked dude we got three hakais now we got the whole family all three gear ratios and they're also coming out with a finesse hakai as well and you know dang well i'm getting some of those all right next up so you guys can check out the hakai the link is in the description for that but sadly you cannot check out this next reel because it is a limited edition there is only 1500 of these reels made from okuma and there's a few of them going out to stores in like canada so if you're in the canada area you're lucky enough to possibly find one of these maybe very limited guys look one of 1500 only 1500 of these reels were made limited edition gt inspired by speed we got a car over here so normally the reels come in boxes like this and this is what i was expecting okuma did tell me they're sending this reel to me and i was expecting a box like this i opened the mail and this is what i got freaking absolutely amazing so let's go ahead and open this up and boom guys check out this reel of course we got the paperwork the instructions all that good stuff how to take it apart then we got the gt reel from okuma look how freaking sexy dude that thing shines man a carbon fiber it's just absolutely beautiful so this does also come in a orange as well they sent me the green one which i'm pretty happy about the green one is pretty awesome I, the orange one's awesome too i would have been happy with both of them honestly but uh this green looks sick so there is the reel here's the handle here carbon fiber freaking absolutely beautiful man jesus and then of course we got a bottle opener it says okuma rising with every challenge limited edition one of 1500 i wish this was number one but uh, unfortunately it's not they are numbered i got 1254 but hey i'm just happy to get one man once again very limited edition and again guys these are not available not very many of them went out to stores and whatnot i don't even know if i want to use it i probably use it once catch a bunch of fish on it and then put it back in the packaging and like display it because this packaging is pretty freaking cool man like i was not expecting that at all so thank you guys at okuma you guys are amazing you guys treat me so well and again guys the links are in the description go check out okumafishingusa.com sadly there is not a link to buy this it is that limited all the guys with okuma got one i'm i'm happy to be a part of the team and get one because this is amazing and again okuma is doing a lot more cool stuff like this in the future so man check out okuma dude they're they're killing it right now fish lab tackle they're also killing it as well we got a bunch of stuff from fish lab tackle well we got some spoons to show you guys as well i actually <laughs> I went and used one of these the other night on the dock just for fun just to see what could happen and I actually caught a brand new rod and reel from the bottom of the lake using one of these bio shad willow tail spins so here is footage of that I caught someone's line someone's catfishing over here what did you get? someone's I might catch a pole might be, might be a pole on there. Let's see if I caught a pole. I got a circle hook with some piece of chicken. There may be a pole down there. There, hey, caught a fishing pole. Zebco. Yeah, the chicken was still fresh. You want it? Want the chicken? A little chicken nugget? Anyone? You caught a fishing pole. Are you going to keep it or give it to the owner? I don't want it. Are you going to throw it back? Devin will take it. 
put a big old spinning reel on it, you'll be good. Dude, I just got a whole rig. I got bait on there and everything. Still got the bell. There you go, Devin. Catfish pole. <laughs> I dropped down my my spoon. Pretty much caught that on the drop. It got real heavy as soon as it dropped. This pole is acting very weird, man. Kind of feel stuck. No, we're stuck. Dang it. Since we're on the topic of my sponsors, uh, soft steel. I got 10 pound soft steel on here and I swear, these freaking, it is so hard to break off. Ah, there it is, Jesus. It's called soft steel guys, but don't, don't get it twisted. It is some strong, strong line. <laughs> I always have to break off when I get stuck and it is always hard as crap to break off. Okay. We're gonna have to re-rig this one, unfortunately, again. Just one hook though, it's not too bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and check the bait on this pole. We haven't gotten any action. It doesn't feel heavy, yeah, bait's gone. Sick! Over here fishing with no bait. All right, let's get at least one pole back out there with a minnow, and then I will show you guys these willow tail spin lures from Fish Lab Tackle. These fish, man, they keep stealing my bait. What's the deal? Man, jet skis look so fun. If anyone in my local area has jet skis that will let me ride one, let me know. Let me ride your jet ski. We'll go out and have a good time and then you can come out with me on the bass boat and I'll get you on a ton of fish. How about that? It'll be a nice little fair trade. Let's go ahead and put away the GT. We'll get one last look at it. Ah. Voice crack. All right, let's go ahead and check out these Bioshad willow tail spins. So as you just saw, they catch fishing poles. I've yet to catch a fish on one, but they catch fishing poles. <laughs> All right, so once again from Fish Lab, Fish Lab Tackle is coming out with some amazing baits. This year when I go to ICAST, I will show you all of them. Oh, there's a bite. Hold up, sorry guys. We are fishing. On, fish on. Oh, and it got off, no. Come on, dude, you're killing me. Hey, still got the bait at least. Dang it. Like I was saying, I'm going to ICAST in July and we will have a look at all of Fish Lab Tackle's awesome baits that are coming out this year or next year. But here is one of the new ones, the Bioshad Willow Tail Spin. These guys are pretty freaking awesome and freaking hot ow <laughs> they've been sitting on this deck for a minute here and soaking in the sun and they are hot these guys are all metal so yeah they get pretty hot but here is the tail spin from fish lab tackle i am super stoked to get these but we got a few different colors here here is a sexy shad color just look at it man absolutely stunning Oh, is that a fish? My line is swimming. That might be a fish over oh, stuck. Not, or nothing, just, just nothing. That's probably what it is, nothing. Oh, I also got a new Biospoon Weedless in gold as well. I was trolling with one and I lost mine, so I had to get a new one. Ow, also hot. <laughs> oh boy, welcome back to summer where everything is hot. Freaking beautiful though, man. Weedless Spoon. And then we got the tail spins here. Let's go ahead and bust all these out, get them on the deck. Dude, that sexy shad one though, sexy dude. This one is too. I'm not sure what color this is, but it's blue with, with the stripes, and sparkling, freaking beautiful man. Sexy shad, I wanna throw this on right now. I might add a little dot to that with a Sharpie. Also, I kinda wanna paint one of these spoons yellow. Just paint the entire spoon yellow. I think that would be killer in this lake. Yellow, chartreuse, all that good stuff works amazingly in my local lake. What are you doing, guy? What are you doing? You're swimming out again. It's probably just that freaking huge minnow, though, honestly. It's like half ounce weight. <laughs> That's puny to me. I can push around anything. See a ton of fish off bottom, though. Oh, that's a fish. Hold up. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a fish. Didn't see that guy tug. A little crappie. I think I just reeled up into him actually because there's a ton of fish about three feet off bottom. And I saw that in the fish finder, so I reeled up a bit and I felt weight. So it could have just bit, I don't know. But a little crappie. Thank you, dude. Thanks for playing. Still got our bait too. Love to see it. Quick action. Get the fish off. Get the bait right back down there. Okay, so now we know we may need the fish a few reels off bottom because they're not really on bottom right now. So we got four of these bad boys, all different colors. I already used the black one the other night on the docks. Caught a fishing pole. But here it is here. So I got these because I knew these walleye here at my local lake love spoons. So these guys will be killer for walleye. But tail spins, they catch everything. They catch bass, sand bass, walleye, crappie, anything. So uh, these guys are just a killer lure to have on the boat and in your tackle box. So of course I had to go get four of these bad boys. We got one in black, a blue, not sure what color this is. It's like a white shad. Why do all these have a dot, but not the sexy shad? I'll try it without the dot. Don't get any bites on it. We'll add the dot to this one. Very soon, I will be making a video using just these tail spins to catch a ton of fish. That video will be coming soon. But once again, guys, if you want to go check these out, these are the Bio Shad Willow Tail Spins from FishLabTackle.com. Go check them out. Links are in the description. I also went out and got one of these Go Fish cameras. You tie this to your fishing pole and then it goes down into the water and it films your bait and it films the fish take your bait and basically films the reel in of the fish. So that's pretty freaking cool. So I'm definitely gonna tie this on, uh, probably today actually, and see if we can get some cool underwater footage with this. But that is all I have to show you guys. All right guys, once again, go check out all those links in the description. But now we can start fishing and actually start catching fish and not missing fish. We can pay attention and actually set the hook at the right time. But guys, it is freaking hot. I will 100% be ending up in this water today, for sure. What's water temp right now? Water temp is 71 degrees. So it should be warm enough for me to jump in here and not die. <laughs> finally, it's finally summer, guys. I miss going out here on the boat, fishing, and then going swimming as well. Those were the best days last year and we're back baby it is time but uh let's catch some fish all right so this video is already at 20 minutes pretty long so i'm going to go ahead and call it to be continued part two of this video will be out tomorrow which is the fishing i had a pretty awesome day of fishing and uh i also did something that i've never done before or ever even seen before well kind of almost did it but i'm gonna go ahead and call it it counts but uh expect that video coming out tomorrow but guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next one peace